Hey, good morning, everybody. My name is Jason. This is Frederick's Workshop. This is going to be my shop tour for 2022. Now, the only thing is, is um, I, I, I'm just going to give you a quick look right now of how dirty this place is. And I'm sure 99% of the time, guys, this is how your shop looks too. But I'm going to clean up, then go through everything that, that, that's updated. But here's a quick look. I mean, I got piled up air, dust here, all kinds of junk underneath here. Try not to shake too much. It needs cleaned out up here. This is a disaster area here. Project here that I'm finishing up. My table saw is now a collector spot. So I'm just going to get some stuff cleaned up in here. And then once I get it all cleaned up, reorganized, put back where it's supposed to be, um, then we'll go through an actual little tour here and update from what, uh, what I got done from last year's. All right, we're out here in the garage. Uh, this is not where my workshop is, although it starts out here. Planer lives out here on a wood door table, it's an old door, um, and some saw horses there. I don't have a spot for out the shop for it, and lumber storage. Uh, a bunch of scrap that I got off the marketplace, plus I got some more out there, I'll show you here in a little bit. A paint station over here, just an old uh, stroller um, box there that I just use to spray paint on. And along with this hook right here that I can hang things from, from the chains and hook. Um, but I just whenever I do it, I just make sure that the wife's vehicle is not in here. Um, power strip is plugged into an outlet over here. Extension cord comes across. Sorry about that, guys. A quick turn comes all the way down, and then goes into this little windy. One of them goes into a little windy thing here because it's extra length, as you can see. Um, I'll put this on the link on the. Uh, it's pretty good. I like it. Down below, so from Amazon where I got it cords there's two of them come out more wall which we'll show you here in a second on the inside and they plug in here so this these are uh, two uh, RV outlet things that you can use on your RVs replacements and that's how they power the shop so more work needs to be done I got to put this end cap you know the white trim here on the end of this side here to keep the bugs and stuff out weather but I haven't got to that yet and then I'll do some more work up here across the top here to kind of cover some of that. I uh, got my two windows finally installed. There's a video on me installing this one here before I got to this one. I just did this one like last week. Um, so far they turned out pretty good. Yeah, my caulking job, as you can see, is garbage from the extra caulk and stuff like that. But I figured, yeah, it's going to get painted anyways eventually. And plus uh, this one here I used clear. And that one over there I used white caulk. Uh, this is the only ladder I've got, so it doesn't really reach that high side back here very well. Um, so i got to deal with that later. There will be a door here, a man door, that will swing out towards the storm shelter here. Um, but I haven't got to that yet. i got to cover the ends here as well, paint. This will be a step for here. Um, this side will be into the ground, so it's laying on its side, so I'll just tip it 90 degrees this way. So let's walk on that side. That'll go here eventually once I get the door. This is the leftover from that window hole. So this door here also swings out. Just chains up to the hook. Um, I don't ever use that one very often. I open up both of them. I just open up the one and just leave this one matched. So we'll start here at my... It's 10 feet across this way. 12 feet across this direction. Um, so here in this corner, um, I, that's my air station, I guess. Uh, I got my air tank up there. And then just a little hook to hold that up there for now. Hanging my caulk gun there, just get it out of the way. I don't have a lot of storage in here yet. Um, my trash corner. Leftover wiring from doing all this. If I've got enough, I may run another outlet as far as I can this direction up over here so I can plug this in so this doesn't have to droop like this um, but I don't you know I haven't got to that yet and I don't know how much I have first so basically what I'll do is I will run the wire you know connect the wire here drill push the wire through drill push the wire through and then stop if I have to there or if I can go up higher then I'll take it up to here or over to the other side but I'll deal with that later once I depending on how much I got down there so I won't mount the box before I run the wire. Run the wire first, then mount the box. 
But so here's my windows. Um, they slide open. Um, get a little bit of a breeze, you know, some air in here. Unfortunately, it becomes storage for my, my push blocks and stuff for my table saw. Uh, miter saw, of course, now is here. So it is almost three feet deep. I don't remember what the measurement is off this thing. So once I get some walling in here, um, this back piece that slides will have to stop right about where it's at. Normally, I have a push back just a tad, so it kind of goes behind the stud and the cavity here. But once I put that in, I can't. So, and that's just now living on this stand that I got. And it'll actually be on a miter station here eventually. So if any boards are too long, they'll have to be lengthwise. They'll have to go out that door once that door is there. Uh, Crosscut sled lives on the floor here. Tuck it out of the way-ish if it's not living on top of the table saw. But I've got the fence on the table saw right now from putting up some more walling. So I have to take, I don't like this table saw either. But yeah. And then this is the wall I'm doing here. So it's just pallet wood. The blue is not. That's sh some leftover uh, shiplap. Um, but uh, all the other is pallet wood here. Um, the Bearded Giant did an accent wall video. I'll link it down below. And that's where I got the idea from. So that's what those couple pallets outside are for. Um, do some more. I started screwing them all in. Uh, realized, number one, it's split in the wood. So it wasn't pre-drilling, as you can see here. So, I decided I'm just going to use some uh, brad nails, like I did on this one here, to get this piece in. All of the window trim pieces um, are brad nailed in, and then a couple of these others here. So, I'm um, just in the process of getting those going. Um, so, I got a piece of cutoff of walnut that I'm using for a windowsill. Get that little live edge. It looks kind of neat. Um, I sprayed it down with some lacquer to kind of hold some of that dust and <laughs> hold the bark on the best I can. So, and now it's just a trim um, inlay storage spot because I'm very limited on storage, you'll see. Um, a radio system here. So my phone sits in here and that little pocket there. Cord goes up through the bottom of it so you can plug it in, keep it charged up. Um, thing for my keys, there's the hook and that runs the, uh, turns on the outlet behind us there. That turns on that outlet up here so I can run my, um, dust collection with that little remote. Uh, but the cheap amp that I picked up for like 20 bucks to run the music here, fire extinguisher, the amp runs off of it, runs those, uh, car speaker there. And car speaker here. So I got some tunes out here when I'm ready to go. Like I said, that'll be a door eventually. First aid kit there. More wall that I gotta get the nails out of. Orbital sander station here. I just added a hook there and wound up the cord to. Um, it just goes from you know the rough grit, the 40, down to my 800, just the pack I bought. So it just holds all my sandpapers there. These little slide out so you can get to them when needed. Um, that's where my dust collection goes is up here. So that's the bucket I keep up there. Um, I didn't want it on the floor because it takes up more real estate. So I put it up in the air. And the bad thing is I got to get the step stool over here to take it off and get to it. But I mean, the only thing it's connected to now is the miter saw. It doesn't fill up too quickly. Um, but it's a Harbor Freight one. I got a video on my, my review of that. Quick review of it. It works really good. The only thing I've done so far is took a piece of quarter inch plywood and put it on the bottom side of the lid right here. Um, cut the holes in it so they get so and then to add some more sturdiness because it's a very flimsy lid, but it works really good. Sorry about this lights blank. I got new and ordered from Amazon. And that one's just been doing it. It's my seizure light. Anyway, so my workstation cover uh, some garbage down here it's not really garbage it's just you know, so I got some um, tree branches down here for wood turning I'm gonna play around with as learning things handsaw and just I mean, it needs to be cleaned up down there but there's all that um, over here so 
Let's start back over here. Uh, my iron for branding iron there. Um, is this direction there? So that lives right here. Um, put down some tiles just in case it's still hot. It doesn't uh, catch on fire. Um, just turns on here, runs that, and that is the branding for. Let's see here. Yeah, right in there. Juice box holders, guys. Um, I'm going to sell them for 20 bucks. I uh, may put a, the marketplace link below if you want one. Um, wife designed the little juice box character there, or actually found it whenever she did. She found it, printed stickers for me. It's a hard maple from uh, Marketplace, free. And you put juice boxes down inside there. So now you can't squish it. It's got a little juice box holder for her. Made one for my daughter and decided to make a few more. So I'm going to right there for now. 20 bucks. Uh, let me know. Comment below if I've got any left because that's the only 10 I made. That's all I'm making. I don't have any more wood for it and that's all I made. Okay. Bench cookie holder. Uh, Beard Giant again. Beard Giant mallet that I won. Thank you, Gary. Uh, yeah, he, he made it one of those and I made a very crappy version of what he made. His is never much, much nicer. Mine, it does the job. So, there's that. Uh, <clears throat> spot, just a random little things here. Uh, my camera gantry, which normally hold this camera. It's only clamped on to a stud somewhere, so eventually I'm going to make a real one that slides and stuff like that and move around easier, but that's currently what I use. Some uh, files here, a little shelf with my drill bits, my glue, um, and just um, a paste wax, CA glue. Syringes. Uh, they're, they're, they're dental syringes. Um, those things work great for when I was making these juice boxes. I used the syringe to get the glue down in those bottom corners down there. That worked out really good. Um, my drill holders. So this is a design that I stole from Chris at the Glyphs inside. I just basically modeled these after him. Uh, made two of them and then spaced them properly so I could put my brad nailer right in the middle of the two. Clamp storage. Horrible, horrible clamp storage. But that's what I use for now. Tape storage on the clamp. Table saw. Hate this thing. I don't know, it's scary. I'm not used to it yet. Um, it's, a, it's set up for an inch and a half spacing here, but it's like an inch and over an inch and a half. I don't remember. It's like an eighth of an inch off on this side. This table fence curves this way. So, not liking it. You can see that right there. See how wide it is and how narrow it goes, disappears on this side. So, I, I, I hate this thing. I need a new one, but it was 35 bucks at a garage sale. Made a stand for it though, the rolling stand. So it's movable. Just lock the wheels, use it, roll it, push it back out of the way, whatever. This is what I'm disappointed about myself, guys, here. Router table, um, drill press, sander, just lives wherever I can put it out of the way. Um, there's the walnut that I got for free on the marketplace as well. Those two pieces right there. But yeah, so I gotta deal with that. My sharpening station for my lathe. So my lathe table, as you can see, is also a storage table. Clamp storage, everything storage. I don't have good spots yet. I'm still working on wall and building shelves. Like right there's my shelf for my uh, chucks and stuff for the lathe. I built this here, little step area for my turning tools. Excuse <coughs> me. And uh, the one-way system, which is part of this here. So. I built this guy. There's a video on this one here too. Um, the only thing I learned while trying to sharpen for the first time is I read the directions that said that these have to be a minimum of six inches from the center of the wheel. And so I put it down here um, and it's, it's way too far down. So what I got to do is take these off, mount them up here not on the 2x4 just straight to this both sides and then because the length of the bar what I'll have to do is cut a hole in the back here so that bar can go through so I'll just cut a notch through here which is going to be a lot of fun and then I'll have to do the same thing on this side here once I get it lined up 
but this little station, um, when I'm done using it, it just, I can see this here, I don't know if I can do it one handed very well, let's try this, so if I push up, push this back in, sorry about that, push that back in, then it folds down, and not completely out of the way, so it doesn't fold up and under because it hits this, hits itself in right there, but it gives me plenty of room to stand back and use my turning, do some turning here. So it's not, it kind of moves out of the way some. Um, it's the wind, I don't remember what the model is off hand, uh, uh, 34-2014. Uh, it does pretty good. I've turned one pin and one of those branches that I've got underneath the table there, I used to make that peg there, which looks like crap, but it does its job. Uh, there's that. Like I said, my turning tools and everything goes here. Uh, these were my lumber storage, and I'm using and that. That's gonna. It's all red cedar. It's gonna be for a toy box for my daughter, my youngest daughter. My older one doesn't need a toy box. She's too old for playing with normal toys. So this is just some leftover uh, from a different project. I don't know what the heck it was from, but I just took three of these, screwed them in. Um, there's, there's the three, and then I can lay my lumber on there, get up off of the ground, get it up out of the way, save some space. Um, but yeah, there's that. Shop light gives you seizures. Got a new one ordered. Amazon. That'll be here. And that's it. Back out the door. So, it is a mess. I'm in the process of still building and cleaning and shelving and figuring things out but 10 by 12 shed that I built from scratch um, just watching videos like uh, Sam over at Samcraft he built one a couple years back um, watched his video watched some other videos um, and then built the shed so there it all is guys it's early morning my hair is probably a mess I just woke up Came out here to do this real fast, and thanks for watching. Um, see anything in here that help me out with more storage, better ideas, uh, anything to help out with any of this stuff, guys? Let me know. Comment below. But uh, thanks for watching, and have a good day.